Hello guys and welcome to Storytime with Lilac. And today we are reading Rhinos Don't Cry by Mark Grist and Chris Jevons. This is Milo. Milo's a rhino. He likes to do all sorts of rhino things. He likes riding and climbing and banister sliding and mountain bike riding. He paints and he sings and goodness me, Milo loves being a rhino. But there's one small problem. Rhinos don't cry. Rhinos don't cry? Are you sure? Is that right? Well, that is what Milo discovered one night. He and his mom were both watching TV. His hero, the movie star, Spiko McCree, was digging up treasure when pirates attacked. They'd taken the lot and would not give it back. That is when Spiko said, I am a hero, and I'll tell you why. Bad things might happen, but rhinos don't cry. From that moment on, Milo decided that crime was bad, and like Spiko, he'd fight it. I am a rhino, and rhinos don't cry. I am a rhino, and rhinos don't cry. But then something awful. Mom said, oh no, Pickles got out. It hasn't come home. Milo felt sad. It was hard not to cry, but he thought about Spiko and knew, and knew he should try. That morning, he sat with Mom in the kitchen and helped her make signs that said, "It Pickles is missing. Each sign had a picture and number to call in case anyone had seen Pickles at all. When he thought about Pickles, Milo felt funny in his head, in his chest, and in his little round tummy. And that funny feeling did not go away for all the rest of the very long day. As Neil and Mom put up each sign, they got on fences and lampposts and windows of, of shops. Outside the cinema, with just one sign left, Milo looked around for the place that was best. Here, he thought, sticking it by the side door, but then he heard a deep voice. Now what, is, now, what is that sign for? Milo felt panicked, and all in a muddle, the voice was so loud. Was he in trouble? He turned to say sorry, when who did he see? Wow, the great rhino movie star, Spike McCree! Milo was shocked, didn't know what to do. This was a movie star, what that he knew. He showed him the poster he'd made about pickles, but just as he did, his eyes started to trickle, and he tried and he tried. Milo really, really tried, but he cried. Milo cried and he cried and he cried and he cried. A fountain of tears poured from his eyes, and as Milo cried, what did Spiko then do? Well, Spike on McCree began to cry, too. How red his cheeks went, how much his tears poured. He would have come first at the crying award. What are you doing? asked Milo, confused. I'm crying, of course, said Spike, aren't you? But you mustn't, said Milo to Spike on McCree. You said so. I heard you last night on TV. You are my hero, he sat. He said with a sigh, and we are both rhinos, and rhinos don't cry. Ah, Spiko frowned. That film, yes, yes, I know. Well, the thing is, that was made a long time ago, before we found out how important it is to cry sometimes, and not just for kids, but for adults as well. It's how we were made, in fact. You know what? I think crying is brave. So Milo and Spiko both let, both let their tears pour as Milo and Mom found them beside the side door. Spiko's jacket was certainly wetter, but after he cried, Milo felt better. They all shared a smile. Then hang on, what was that? Meow! That sounded like Pickles the cat. Pickles, said Milo, did you hear us crying? She's on the pirate ship. That's where she's hiding. Goodness, said Mom. Let's, fa- let's fetch her quick. Meow! I'll get her, said Spiko, but he couldn't fit. But Milo was small and Milo was fast. He rescued Pickles. He was safe at last. Mom cuddled Pickles. Spiko said, Milo, you are my hero. What a brave rhino. 
They laughed and they cried and were dancing about until it was time to head back to the house. And on the way home, Milo could tell they were crying because they were happy as well. And Milo felt great. You just can't deny that it's good to be brave and it's okay to cry. I hope you like the story and if you like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.